Hey everyone, it's me, and today we are getting into the third chapter of the Space Museum arc. This one is called The Search, and I'm searching for more fun sciencyness and more kooky doctor, because I'm loving this. So without further ado, let's get to more Classic Who. I'm gonna watch with you just like I always do. Yes, Doctor. I see you take my meaning. Guts. Take him to the preparation room. Little flashback in each one of these. Previously on. I don't know why, but the TARDIS looks Leave especially dirty in this episode. Is it just me? Leave it alone. Huh. It didn't take them long to find it. So the museum just no, likes to damaged. collect things and well, there's nothing they can do unless they get inside. Keep it as a display here? item. No. Doesn't look like it. Take a look for yourself, Vicky. Well, what do we do now? Find the doctor, I suppose. I'm afraid I'm no great expert when it comes to changing the future. I think one of us should keep watch on the TARDIS. If we want to leave in here in a hurry, we don't want to have to waste time looking for it. But we know where it's going, Vicky. We've already seen it. But if it gets there, we needn't bother. We want to change what's we going needn't. to happen in the future. Oh, this whole thing is becoming a nightmare. Being a nightmare ever since we saw those cases. But all we do is stand around saying this whole thing is a nightmare. Why don't we do something? <laughs> <laughs> Barbara! Wow. Don't you realize we know nothing about this place? <laughs> I love when Keep clear. she speaks the move, obvious. Move. We say it all the time. Why don't we do something instead of just saying, what a nightmare. Is there no way in? No, Commander. That's all I need. You know what Lobos will say about that soldier. He will blame me. Everything that goes wrong on this wretched planet is my fault. Think yourselves lucky that you have me. So this is the tricky part for them escaping. You and our illustrious governor. They can't as long as that thing's protected. Scapegoat, and for what? For this rank and a meager pittance of extra pay. Oh, what's the use? Strange looking craft. Must be very cramped and uncomfortable for four travelers inside at one time. Hmm. Yes. It's actually the quite cozy locked. and big. We could on not the gain entry, sir. Didn't they leave you the key? Force it open, you fool! <clears throat> Why was not the cutting equipment brought to me? Good luck cutting that open. I asked you to bring it several times, didn't I, soldier? Now, don't you give me any of your feeble excuses. I will deal with you later. Get it! Incompetent fools. Have any of the aliens been caught, sir? One has. Three are still at large. Do you hear that? Yes. Shh. They could be in a thousand places. Then I expect a thousand places to be searched. When this is over, discipline will be tightened. The army here has gone soft. I'm supposed to have at my command trained soldiers, not a feeble bunch of half-witted amateurs. Amateurs. Stop talking. Maybe they've gone. There you are. Oh, no. You. You with a gun. Bring it to me. Um, careful. Don't move! Don't you fire that thing! Well, wouldn't that change the shape of things to come? Well, it would for you. You'd be dead. They can't kill us. We're going to end up in those cases. Not necessarily. Oh, you can change the future so that we don't end up in those cases. But if we're all dead, what's the point? That means we can't fight against anybody. We don't know what we're doing. We just lost the doctor. Has that already changed the future? We don't know, Vicky. Maybe that's the way it happened. We've no reason to suppose that we all ended up in the cases at exactly the yeah, same like, time. So we could be doing exactly what we're supposed to do. They're hoping that they're like the glasses that just 
Listen, reshape themselves. Deal with him, and then we're going after the doctor, whether we're supposed to or not. That's enough talking. Come on, move out slowly. I mean, yeah, he let him talk for quite a bit. I'm gonna try something. I said, move out. Yes, we heard you the first time, but we don't feel like moving, do we? No, definitely not. Ian, don't go too far. Now, what were your orders? To capture us? To bring us in? Yes, get back, back. There was nothing about killing us, was there? Well, was there? Well, answer me. No, 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 there wasn't. Why would you give that away, dude? I think what your superiors are going to say. These guys give away too They're much. They're going to ask, did you bring in Way the aliens? Much. No, you're going to reply. I went out and shot them all. Now run! Both of you! Yeah, now move! Me. Open those doors! Open them! Mickey! Get out those! Ah, with me! Take them to my office. Wait for me there. Guards! All right, so now we've captured our second hostage or whatever, captor. Captor. Captured. Captured. Vicky! Now, how did you separate from Vicky? Ugh. Guys, you seriously are the worst at staying together. It's amazing you guys survive every time. Well, the doctor usually can get you out of things, and Ian's generally smart. That was a smart move on his behalf. It could be Vicky. What was it? I think she had that to hide perfectly around. Now you're locked in. Crap. Let me go! Let go! Oh, right here. Ah! Look, you've got to trust us. Why should I? We hate the Morris. We want to see them dead. You can see we're nothing like them. Yeah, we wear black. Who are you? Oh, we'll explain we everything have later. Big eyebrows. First of all, we must find your companions. It was you who took the doctor. Like you took me, the old man who was with us. Oh, yes, but... We did, but he fooled us. Then the Morocks caught him. Oh, we didn't hand him over to them, if that's what you're thinking. Now, where are the others? I think they caught Ian. The man? What of the woman? We ran so quickly, we went in opposite directions. I couldn't turn back when I realized, because the guards were already behind me. She must be making for the storerooms. We'll have to wait at the headquarters. Darko, go and see if you can find her and bring her there. What's her name? Barbara. Go quickly. Take him down, take him down! No, 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 don't kill me, don't. It depends on you. I want the answers to some questions. If I can help you, I will, I promise. I'm a friend of mine, an old man. He's been captured. Now, what's happened to him? I don't know, I don't know. Is he dead? No, no. Where is he? They took him to the preparation room, but it's nothing to do with me. I'm just a simple soldier. What happens there? I said, what happens there? <laughs> He'll be got ready for the museum. But you can't help him once the process what starts. What process? It's, it's a kind of embalming. How long does it take? Well, several hours. Oh, my God. That's horrendous we'll and barbaric. We'll, we'll both be killed. Barbara, don't fall asleep for good or you'll never get out of there. Oh, no. Who is it? Oh, good. It's one of the good guys. It's not Ian, is it? Barbara, are you in here? Who are you? How do you know my name? Tor and Sita have taken Vicky to our headquarters. You must believe me. We are your friends. Why should you be? We're Zerons. This is our planet. And the others? The ones in uniform? Morocks. They changed our planet into a museum. A record of their wars. But soon we shall rise against them and drive them from Zeros. Morocks? Well, where do they come from? Their planet's three light years away. They invaded us without warning. Zeros was a place of peace. 
and knowledge and the wisdom of our elders made us free from want. Why didn't you fight back? Their weapons were far superior to ours. We had planned for peace and they for war. Now I want you to come with me. Well, can you get us out of here? There are many guards, but I'll find a way. Come on. Look! They've set the museum on fire! Wait. <laughs> What's wrong? This is the building. Oh, Vicky. Take me in. It would be better to wait. It's a busy time of day. Later on, there won't be so many guards on duty. You'll stand a better chance. There's someone coming. I'll find out what happened to the others. And remember, I'm here. Soldier! What are you doing here, soldier? Why have you left your post? The governor sent for me. I am to report to him. You didn't leave it unguarded, did you? The replacement hadn't arrived. Oh. What the governor's orders? He said immediately. And why are you waiting? I will attend to your replacement. Sir. What is it now, soldier? Have the aliens been recaptured? Not yet. But the safra gas will soon drive them from their hiding place. You did well. I'll take your advice and wait a while. I feel Over bad there. for that soldier. He's screwed. The minute they speak with the governor, it's going to be evident that they did not call for him. Unless the governor is extremely forgetful and very forgiving. Oh! Oh! Well, this is the armory, Vicky. Can you do anything? Do you know how it works? It must work to a standard pattern. Break the light beam. Well, the questions will start. Yes, I know. Do you understand that all questions are to be fully answered? Yes. What is your rank? I have no rank. You see, Vicky, not only does the reply have to be true, it has to be the correct answer as well. Yes. Sita, break the light beam again, but this time don't answer. Just let the questions run right through. <laughs> Do you understand that all questions are to be fully answered? What is your rank? What is your name? Do you have the governor's permission to approach? Have you a requisition signed by the governor? What is its reference number? The withdrawal requisition numbers are fed in from headquarters. It has to tally with the number Which given. There's no chance, Vicky. Are you attached to... Isn't there? I wouldn't give For in as easily as that. What purpose are the arms needed? Look, now this is where the questions are recorded. Has the guard recorded. on duty examined your identification papers? Help me get the front off. What is the current password? It's wild that the future uses uh, tape. I'm just... Teasing, I get it. It's a different world. I'll just embrace it. Are the aliens still in the building? Yes, sir. We have seen no movement. Very well. Keep the men alerted. They'll soon be coming out. <laughs> oh, man. They, it's amazing they're still with it. Doc. Come on. Come Slap on. him in the face. <coughs> yeah. Figured. Have you done it? I'm not sure. I think so. Well, the door hasn't opened to answer the questions yet. And well, then you failed. The lock reacts only to the truth. And then you failed. And it still does, Tor. You'll see. What is your name? Vicky. For what purpose are the arms needed? Revolution. Oh, well done, Vicky. I fixed it so that I only had to answer the truth. I didn't have to give the correct reply. 
Yes, everything we need here and more will be able to arm everybody. Oh, good. Get as many as you can carry and give them to Sham for distribution. I'll give mine to the Tom and Corrie and then bring them back here for more. I wonder if this will keep us out of the cases. Hmm. Come in. Well, last. You aliens have caused me enough trouble. I shall see that you pay for it. You'll be a fool if you kill me. You will achieve nothing. Possibly, but it might be enjoyable. What do you want? Take me to the doctor. The old man you captured. And if I refuse? I don't think you'll be that stupid. You'll kill me anyway. You're wasting time. Am I? It is too late for you to help him. He has already passed into the second stage of preparation. Oh, what no. does that mean? He is beyond your help. Come on, take me to him. Move. Yeah, we can't lose the doctor. Hurry. Well, Hurry, you won't help your friend, the doctor. Is he in there? Yeah, honestly, I don't even know if he can regenerate. Yes. I know that that's Open not a door. thing yet, but I don't think he could from this. I get in, both of you. This might actually be the ultimate way to kill the doctor. Not really kill him, but... It's doctor! Oh no, what is it? So I think the one that really stood out in this episode was Vicky. She was, like, really, like, smart and courageous and took on some major leadership skills, and I'm thoroughly impressed with what she was able to, to do. So, yay, Vicky! You're awesome. Yeah, it was really impressive, all the stuff we we got to see from her. And I honestly think on some level, she might be possibly the, uh, the saving grace behind all of this because she's the one who granted the other guys access to the weapons that we needed in order to win. So, Vicky's the hero of this episode. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. There wasn't there wasn't any doctor here. It was all just Barbara being hilarious at the start and Ian and Vicky. And I sometimes find these refreshing and I rather enjoy episodes where the companions get to be more of a forefront. I feel like the newer series of series, <laughs> someone needs to explain these to me. Collection, I don't know. They tend to almost always involve the doctor in every episode. Not always, but usually. And so I really appreciate when we have little one-offs where it's not just so focused on the doctor at all. This was, uh, this was a good one. They're they're close to the end. They might get away. I know they'll get away. That'd be weird if they didn't get away. I'd be like, oh no, anything's possible. It is the doctor. But yeah, Barbara, Barbara was smart. She hid well. I don't know how they separate though. You, you know, because I gave Vicky a hard time because it's like, how did you lose Barbara? Or really, how did Barbara lose Vicky? Either way, you could argue. But they always lose each other, and I'm like, I get for story reasons, like, yay, but man, you guys gotta quit losing each other, you know? <laughs> anyway, I enjoy it, and I can't wait to see the finale, so until next time when this dude does it again. Hey guys, it's Kyle from Fan Theory Network. Did you know that we have other Hooniverse-based content? And that's an understatement to say the least. That includes Daleks, Harkness, the Cybermen, Sarah Jane, Susan, the Weeping Angels, K-9, the Master, Missy, Holly, me, and so much more in full length at patreon.com slash fantheorytv. Go check it out.